Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Queens. I'm in Pakistan and I'm in a village just outside of Gujranwala. Today I have a very special opportunity to explore the village. Uh, we're gonna cook, we're gonna eat. It's about 8 a.m. The air is crisp and clean, the sun is shining. It's gonna be a fantastic day. I'm gonna share everything with you in this video and we are getting started. We're on our way to go have breakfast first. Oh, my, <laughs> Micah, you got the whole outfit. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, and we're on our way though to, to walk around the village and we're gonna have breakfast at a place. Oh. So the village is called Kot Yusuf. It's very calm, there's no cars, mostly walking and motorbikes. Uh, but then there's, it, it's an entire community. It's just enjoying this cool morning breeze. This is great. God. God. We've arrived to a place called the Dera, which is, it's a place in the community, like a open yard, courtyard. They have some of the best quality buffaloes and animals. Kind of a relaxing courtyard, but I think the purpose, the main purpose of this area is to have conversations, to socialize. Um, and this is where we're gonna hang out. Very cool. Good morning. You dare step into the buffalo pen. And most of the buffaloes are used for, for milking here. Um, and then the milk is very important for many things. Thank you to the buffaloes uh, for the, the desi ghee and the cream and a lot of the food that we've been eating. And then finally horses over here. And these horses are used for tent pegging, which is a, it's an art, it's a sport, it's a part of the culture here. And we're gonna have a chance to see them perform it after we have breakfast. They're preparing breakfast already. They're grating, they're peeling potatoes, grating. It looks like radish. Big balls of dough, which they are kneading. And it looks like they're gonna do some of the cooking over on this side. Nice. They're gonna be making paratha with the ingredients that they're cooking. So they're preparing two versions. One is with the radish, uh, which they shredded and then mixed with a variety of spices. One is with potato, uh, which she mixed with a variety of spices. And then she's got this mallet pounded up. So it's like mashing it, mashed potato. And that's gonna fill into roti and then fry. It's called sag. Ah, so it is like spinach, a type of, but a type of spinach. It's a, it looks like spinach, but what you find them in fields. They, they grow widely in fields. Like a wild spinach. It's like a wild spinach. But wow. it's, it's a delicacy in this part of the world. Like you have it in breakfast. Or from the... We're gonna have some lassi too. Oh man, I'm getting just more and more excited by the minute for breakfast. And they're also making halwa, which is a sweet dessert made from semolina. Um, and so they, they cooked that down until it browned and then they just added in some hot water that kind of whooshed and now back on the fire. Added on some pure desi ghee and then stuck it onto the hot plate that just smoked and sizzled. Um, and then as she's frying it, she continually adds more and more desi ghee. Oh, that's gonna be a flavor overload. The way her hands move and it's, she's a beautiful auntie. Uh, she rolls out, she's now making the paratas. She rolls out uh, one ball of dough into a circular shape. Um, and then she rolls out a second one because they're gonna sandwich together. And she adds in some of the potato mixture or the radish mixture. Um, then she like flattens it out into the center, adds the second layer. Um, adds, oh, she added in some desi ghee into the center. Then she puts it on the hot plate and just wipes it, smears it with desi ghee before she flips it. Um, so that gives it that just golden, sizzly, just perfect, crunchy, desi ghee, buttery goodness, and it's just sizzling away. Uh, I think we're getting ready to eat very soon. That looks so good. I'm so hungry now. Wow. 
So we're all just sitting down at the table. They put the table underneath the tree. This is beautiful. We've got the cool breeze. The paratas are ready. The halwa is there. There's the different variety. There's the, oh, the chana, the, the chickpeas. Um, and then the sag, the spinach dish. And then there's some achar. There's a pickle. And there's some oh, there's cream. as well. That's cre or is that desi ghee on the bottom? Desi, desi, desi ghee. Wow. As the honored guest, uh, it really is a privilege to begin the meal, to start the meal with some of the sag, which is the wild spinach. And she, before she served it, she put in like a whole heaping spoon of desi ghee at the bottom and then poured on the sag. So that's, I was at the bottom, I stirred that in. Okay, I gotta try that first. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, that is amazing. You taste the spinachiness of it, but it's so light and fluffy that desi ghee just shines. I think this one is radish and potato? Yeah, this one is potato and this okay. one is radish. Radish. Thank you. Look at how it's just glistening with that butter. This one is fresh. I'm gonna rip, rip a piece of the parata. And you can see how it's so thin also. And you can see that inside. And then it's also typically eaten with yogurt. Dip a little bit of yogurt. Oh, thank you. Mm. Okay. And some lassi as well. Oh, that parata is it's stunning. Again, just the, the desi ghee. It's just saturated with desi ghee, which makes it so good. But the desi ghee has been sizzled on the hot plate with that dough with the thin layer of radish, which has been spiced. You can taste the chili in there, you can taste the turmeric, you can taste the cumin. And then he just handed me a bowl of lassi. And try some of the achar, the pickle, this is a chili. Oh, oh I love it. It's like a preserved chili, it's salty. Mm. That pickle flavor, oh that's wonderful. Again, that's just a sharp, like a sharp contrast to the yogurt, to the parata. That parata is stunning, and that sog, that sog just blew me away. You gotta try this too, it's insane. This, oh, the chana? Yeah. Some of the chana with the puri. You can just taste like the creaminess of that texture, and then you taste the sauce. I mean, it is the chickpea sauce, which is like disintegrated as well. The turmeric in there, the onions and garlic. But okay, now I gotta try the halwa, the sweet, the sweet dessert that goes along with the puris as well. It is sweet, but it kind of has like a honeyish, like floral taste to it. Scoop up a little bit of that sag with the parata. That sag. That sag is award winning. Breakfast was spectacular. Everything made from scratch by by the whole community coming together. And I was just asking how many people live in this village. About 700, he said. And one more thing I was going to tell you is the word desi. You hear desi a lot. Like we we, we just had a, a desi breakfast, which is a local breakfast. Uh, but mostly the word you hear is desi ghee, which is so it's it's butter, clarified butter, but it's desi, which means it's local, so it's from the source. Uh, so whenever you hear desi ghee, and I'll be using that term a lot in Pakistan, it means that it's the clarified butter, locally sourced, could be like right from the buffaloes, right next to where you eat it. Oh, okay. We're gonna take a quick tractor ride, or maybe drive the tractor, plowing the field. I'm keeping the line straight. A little bit dusty, but what a ride. Oh, that was fun. As we're sitting here drinking tea, they're starting to prepare the animals, especially the horses, preparing the horses because they're going to show us the tent pegging, which is a traditional sport, which, oh, which I already mentioned before, but they're getting ready to demonstrate. What they're going to pick up, what they're going to stab, what they're going to spear is called a kila, which is this small piece of, it's like a little wooden stake. So they're going to swing by with a spear and stab it 
oh, on their way up and that's the that's the art that's the sport tent pegging and this is how you actually control it you take the thumb out so you have a strong grip and when you hit it your whole arm it bends back and this is how it comes but they're made for Really tough. That's so small. That's such a small target. got back from the horse display exhibition, which was incredible to see, and it's now time. As we were there, they were cooking lunch, they were preparing lunch, we're back at the, the family home now. Um, there's a rice dish, which is like pulau, it's a pulau rice, there's tandoori roti, fresh tandoori roti, there's chicken curry, and there's a lentil dish as well. Uh, but again, another home-cooked meal. <laughs> I cannot wait to try this rice. This is a desi chicken. It's a, a local, local chicken, like a free range chicken. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so fluffy and so like airy. The turmeric, you taste, mm, you can taste the chili, the chili heat a little bit in the background. Next, try the chicken curry. Break off a piece of the chicken. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the desi ghee in there. But it almost has a, okay, you can taste the cream in there. That's what it is, the cream comes through, the garlic, the, it's so good. Oh, the black pepper in that. Taste that with the achar, the, the chili. Oh. Just, that rice is insane. It's so good. And then that chicken with the, with the curry sauce and then following with the achar. It's, I mean, it's such an honor to have home-cooked food. But you just taste the difference of home-cooked food made with so much love. Yeah, it is, this meal is spectacular, as was breakfast. Oh, that's the bite. Thank you so much. A lot, man. Yes, Thanks that was it was so special. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Ali just said that was a marathon of food and <laughs> that activities. was a roller coaster ride. A roller of food and activities and whatnot. But we had fun. <laughs> they, these guys were very hospi hospitable wow. and amazing. They really took care of us and the, I love how the entire community gathered. My huge thanks to the entire Bagdi family uh, who are from Kot Yusuf village just outside of Gujanwala. But they are, yeah, what a, what a display of hospitality. Thank you very much. Okay, the plan for the rest of the day is we are driving now. It's gonna be about a three hour drive. We're driving almost to Islamabad, right? Yeah, we are driving towards Islamabad, but we'll be having dinner at Chakwal. Chakwal, which is just before Islamabad. Which it's is another a, village? Yes, another village, just before Chakwal, just before Islamabad. Nice to meet you, Mark. Hey, Mayor. Tonight, this is kind of a surprise, but we have a special opportunity to hang out and meet Mr. Yasser Safas. And he uh, has this incredible 150-year-old mansion in the countryside, in a village. Uh, so we've been invited to for dinner tonight. Um, and then, yeah, what a... What a location! It's like a, it's like a castle. Simple and homemade and desi. Wow. What is it, Usman? Chicken. Nice. This is yeah. like uh, local chicken, like uh, what do you call it? Desi chicken, organic. Desi chicken, organic. Organic, chicken? yeah. And this is mutton. This is mutton. Okay. This is also like a local wheat. Yeah, this is also spinach. Okay. But generally, the spinach, which is 
generally eaten with this. Thank you. Are you recording? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and our, like, used to be considered, now it's not. Mm. If it gets cold, then it doesn't Thank you. remain very good. Okay, so. I'll try some of that sog, so. actually. That's actually spinach and cheese. Oh, we're all sitting oh, down at the table in the dining room. Yeah. Oh, wow. All the mutton curry. Okay, next up to taste the sag, and that's eaten with the special uh, cornbread, which is that thick, thick cornbread. Oh yeah, oh it's so creamy, it's so like spinachy, but it's got that like silky, like gooiness. Okay. Chicken, I guess. Oh, chicken. Meat. Next dish is a uh, chicken curry made with desi chicken, a local, local free range guy. Oh, I mean again, you can taste that texture. You can tell it's not it has been running around. The aloo you yeah. ate in the afternoon? No, no, no. Yeah, that was Punjabi, and this is from our area. Right, and then for dessert, uh, a regional, this region's version of halwa. Mm. Yeah, it's almost almost like a bread pudding. You can taste the, the spices in it, the cardamom maybe. And then there's like raisins in there. Oh, and nuts too. Dinner was excellent, um, and now a local band has come to the house. Who's gonna? They're gonna perform for us, and they're gonna play music local from this area. at night, 1.30 a.m., but we finally made it to Islamabad, and yeah, that was just a unique dinner in the old heritage home. Um, and he's actually the Minister of Tourism Punjab. So I wanna say a big thank you to Mr. Yasser for inviting us to his home for, for dinner. Thank you to everyone who helped us to, who cooked. Um, yeah, it was uh, the entire Bagdi family. It was very, very special and it was uh, an incredible day. And thank you to Ali for arranging everything, for setting everything up. Um, Ali, I'll have his information in the description box below. And that's gonna do it for today. I'm gonna end the video right now, heading straight to sleep. So I'm gonna see you tomorrow. But please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Good night from Islamabad.